Hey guys, I got this pump, Schwinn Air Base Plus, of course. It is made or meant for bikes and bicycles. I know it works on bikes, like motorbikes. I know that it does it. I know it works on playing balls and all those things. And uh, it has quite a few good things going on. A long hose, I like that. Here you would store extra uh, stamps if you need to or whatnot. I love the part that you don't have that thing to, to screw and unscrew. You just plug it in the stem, lock it in place, and it's ready to go. And when you pull, push this uh, pedal down, it lifts up just like that. Well, you would like to take this a little bit by hand if you want to. As you see, latches down for storage. And I like these two little feet right here. As you see, they come up, and then you put your foot here and inflate or whatever you're doing. And yes, the needle is one of those that you can put it to where you're trying to, like your target needle versus the indication needle. And when those two meet, that means you met your target. Now, what I'm going to do today is something that this pump is not made for, to inflate a car tire. Yes, I will deflate a little bit my car tire and see if this pump can inflate it now what will go with it i don't know it looks pretty high quality i hope nothing goes wrong but we're gonna see together if i can have this as a backup in my car so just in case the one i have runs out of battery or the one that came with a car for some reason decides not to work i can have a backup let's go take a look at it and see what can be done so we are right here and uh, i deflated it already just let me show you how much i deflated it you just insert this thingy right here okay so usually these tires i keep them uh 30 to 33 and right now it is at 17.5 so that's quite a lot of psis to still go in this tire and we're gonna test this bad boy right here what it can do for us if it can take it from that 17 and a half to at least 30 32 that would be perfect but we are yet to see it as you see we have the psi thingy right here let me twist it to around 30 something as you see as i told you this is the actual indicator versus this is our target right here it's at 30 i'll probably put it just a little bit over 30 just to be on the good side and we're gonna plug it in what happens i have no idea okay at this point it is plugged in and we are ready to start pumping on it and see where that goes it's just a ghost of you, yeah, the ghost of you Oh, I wish you were here when I see you so clear It's just a ghost of you, yeah, the ghost of you Now we're back in my bed, but it's all in my head It's just a ghost of you, it's just a ghost of you It is definitely going up, but it's taking a little bit more. <laughs> ah, the battery pump was much easier. I've been fighting with my demons. I'm still not ready for the truth. We're having fun. That's for sure. Right now it has met the other needle but i noticed this one reads a little bit higher so if it's 17 psi this one will say 20 so i'm gonna go just a little bit over that needle because i do not believe it's 30 right now might be probably 27 or 28 let me go over the needle a little bit it is inflating for sure because i see the tire Yep, now it is, I would assume 38 showing on this one, but we know this one is not exactly that uh, accurate. Let me just show you quick. It is right there and it is just, this is our set, the bold one. And this is our actual reading, almost at 40. So we will check it really quick with a Ryobi pump, 
how much it actually has in it. So far, in emergency, I would say it works. But if you don't have anything else, it's definitely better than nothing. <laughs> Let me put this down real quick. So it's not in the springed out mode, just in case. Yes, you know, my trust level with some of these things is not that high. Okay, let me wrap it up here and bring our Ryobi for a reading. A professional reading, even though none of them are exact science, but excuse my heavy breathing. There was quite a few pumps there. <laughs> okay, so let me grip this camera here. Okay, let me turn on the Ryobi. And we have 31. So I was right to over pump on this one instead of believing it's reading. But yes, it actually works. It takes more effort. That is true. The pump itself is actually not that, uh, it's not hot, not even warm, I would say. No, it's actually pretty, feels pretty good feels pretty good so yeah let me put this back at zero so does it work yes but eh, we need to put it to 33 again where it was okay two psi just like that yeah definitely the battery is much faster but if you don't have anything else and you just have one of those Schwinner base pluses, I think this is quite a success, actually. I would say, let me turn this off. I would say this is a success and yes, it would work. Now these tires are uh, 19 and they are 235. Let me just show you right here. That's the tire itself, size 235 by 50. And yeah, they're, they're quite, quite sizable. And this pump actually managed to take it from 17 to 31, just a little bit over 31. If I kept pumping more, I would have gotten it to 33, but I am really happy with it. And yes, definitely, I'm gonna keep it a little bit more on the open side because as you see, I even let rust because I had it literally just thrown on the side. I never even bothered to check if it works for a car. I just used it for a bike, for balls, playing balls, but well, now we know that it actually works for a car and yes this is an suv so actually i'm even more impressed because this is quite a heavy car and it did the job good job schwinn and with that said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you excuse my heavy breathing and the noise around it's all good then please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time bye Just the ghost of you, yeah the ghost of you